Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for your daily dose of the latest gaming news with myself, Amata. Today is of course the 1st of October and I have some more news for you concerning Assassin's Creed 4 as Ubisoft has revealed some rather interesting information as you can rate each mission in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Now the company revealed this when talking to Eurogamer that it did add the optional feature to help the developers in Ubisoft Montreal to create better missions in future games and Assassin's Creed 4 associate producer Sylvian Trottier said quote the idea behind this feature is to be able to get the input of our players on their appreciation of each mission the rating is anonymous and is sent to our servers to be analyzed it's an idea that came out of discussions between our creative director Jean Goodson and our executive producer Sebastian Puel. It was implemented early in the production more than one year ago. It's also being used during a playtest sessions to gather the players feedback. And this was actually commented on by the Eurogamer YouTube editor Ian Higton and this was when he got the chance to play again at a hands-on event hosted by Ubisoft and he said quote during a recent press event I was given a three hour hands on with a couple of AC4 Black Flags memory sequences each sequence is broken up into smaller story missions after each story mission you are presented with a stat screen showing how well you sync to your memory of the event on the bottom right of the screen was a small box containing five stars and the text rate this mission by highlighting the box you could then rate the mission out of five it took seconds to do and was not compulsory sometimes i completely ignored it and the producer sylvian trottier also added quote it's fully optional it's a way for our players to tell us directly whether they liked or not the mission it's a survey if you prefer it will help us know which missions are the favorite and which ones people like less and trottier has been quoted saying that the system was a test but it was unsure if it would be used in future ubisoft games and he said quote Maybe. We don't know. It's the first time as far as I know that we are doing this. It's a test. We don't know how much data we will collect from there. I don't know if people will use it or not, but I think we think it was worth trying to get the direct feedback from our players. So there you have it, a rather interesting addition to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I'd say that this is definitely an interesting idea, of course, as they've stressed many times during this particular video. It is an optional feature. You don't have to rate the mission if you don't like it. But it is there. And, well, there were a couple of missions in Assassin's Creed 3 that made me rage uncontrollably and were just very frustrating. And being able to tell them so, rather than just, you know, shouting at them over the internet, is obviously a positive thing because, well, if obviously everyone gives them negative feedback about a certain mission or a group of missions, um, they're going to look at it and say, right, okay, we need to look at these missions and perhaps ask people why they didn't like them. I think it would be nice if you want to give the option to tell you why they didn't like the mission, but that would probably be something purely for the PC version, because no one's going to want to type that out on their Xbox gamepad or whatever. So it's certainly an interesting idea. I'd be curious to know how many people actually end up using it and how useful it actually proves to be for Ubisoft and their future development. In theory, it sounds like it could be very useful, but obviously it really depends on how many gamers actually make use of it and how many just ignore it. I would imagine that if there really is an annoying mission that's just annoying the hell out of everyone, then people will feel the need to rate the mission and just express their dislike to Ubisoft because, well, they can. Why not get that out there? Anyway, that is me done for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.